This video will cover example 11 from section 4.3, and this was the last problem we had um, to finish this section. So thank you for watching it. And we do have a logarithmic function, and although we're going to do more applications in section 4.4, this is one of them. And it represents um, the annual U.S. power generation from wind in million mega watt hours and it could be approximated by such function. So the output, the f of x or your y value if you want to call it, that will be representing the power generation and the units will be million megawatt hours. Um, the independent variable in this case is going to be x and it's going to be representing a year. And so the problem says that for x equals 6, the year is 2006. So for the next question that we have here, the first one we have to answer, is find the wind power for the year 2008. So for the year 2008, the x value will be x equals 8. And so what we're going to do is find the function value at 8. And so on your calculator, you will enter all these numbers. So I'm copying the numbers from here. And the only difference is that the x value is going to be substituted with an 8 for this case. So we're going to have um, 193.1. And then remember, there is a key on your calculator that says ln for natural log, and then you will enter in the parentheses the number 8 to represent the year 2008. And so after doing that, you will get approximately 66.0. Now for the next question, I'm going to use uh, different colors, so that will be the year 2012. So in this case, the x value will be 12, because remember we said that for x equals 6 is the year 2006. So for x equals 12, it would be the year 2012. So we substitute that into our formula. So again, in place of the x, and this is wrong. It should be 335.5 plus 193.1, and then enter the key ln, and then in parentheses you will enter the number 12. So after doing that, the value will be 144.3. And then lastly, we have a question, and that is with respect to the year 2015. So our x value will be a 15. So we, again, copy the formula, enter the whole thing in the calculator. Uh, make sure that you enter your decimal points correctly. And so that will be the natural log and then of 15. And so from there, we're going to get approximately 187.4. And remember, the units were million kilowatt hours. So now, um, to answer the last question here, they're asking us kind of backwards. So now, again, they're giving us, well, they want to exceed the production to exceed 225 million. So this is a question that if I give you the output, you tell me what the input will be, and that will be representing a year, and we want to exceed that value. So the 225. So then what we're looking for is for um, for what function, I'm sorry, for what x value will the function equal 225. So what I'm going to do is graph y equals 225 as one equation, and the other one is going to be, um, like my other uh, equation that I will graph, it will be the one that is given to us at the beginning of the problem. And so when you enter that on your calculator, you have to make sure, first of all, that you enter it correctly, including the negative sign that is at the beginning, 335.5 plus 193.1 natural log, and then you have to put an x here. Don't just put a number because then you will just get a horizontal line. And so I have my graphs, they're here.
this one. 225, yes. And we have the function here. Okay, so then if I want to find the uh, intersection, right there where the line, uh, pink line and the black line are intersecting, then uh, for my calculator, and this is a TI Inspire iPad version, I will go to Analyze the Graph and um, find the intersection, lower bound. I will move my line and upper bound the right side so we just want to enclose our area and we get the number 18.2 now um, we're talking about a year so then um, we got x equals 18.22 um, but we're not going to say that the year will be the year 2018 because that will be the logical answer if you had to round you will round down to 18 However, we want that production to exceed the 225, so then we're going to move on to the, we're going to round up to the following year. So the correct answer will be the year 2019. And that is the end of the problem.